Hi friends, Candace Gillespie here and welcome to Candace's Canvases. Today I'm going to show you uh, my method of a coffee cup mini album inspired by Wilna Furstenberg and Tori Bissell here on YouTube. Um, I first saw Tori's video and she referenced me to Wilna, so thanks for that, YouTube fellow YouTubers. Okay, first things first is I folded my cup in half. This is a Starbucks Grande. And then I cut off the quarter inch that was the excess. And I'm scoring on a quarter inch to the other side of my center fold. So I have this one quarter inch um, kind of binding area for my signatures. I'm taking that quarter inch that I cut off and I'm using that to sturdy up the center and I'm gluing it in and I do apologize for the glare it's kind of waxy shiny on the inside of those cups so for the to give it some sturdiness on the inside I'm just using the cardboard cover of a pack of paper um, and I'm tracing out the front and the back and then I'm going to mark on there which one is top left, top right. I just want to make sure I don't get them backward. And I'm cutting on the inside about an eighth of an inch away on the from the an eighth of the an eighth of an inch on the inside of that traced line. Okay, once that's done I'm just verifying that they work and that they're not too long. And I'm going to glue those in. Here I'm making a, um, a page template. On Wilna's YouTube channel, she said she has a PDF template for the pages. But I'm, I just love to figure things out. So this is how I made mine. <laughs> and <clears throat> I traced those. And again, I cut it about an eighth of an inch on the in, um, on the inside of that trace line and where I felt like it was a little bit too long I trimmed it up and so I this is made out of cardstock so it's nice and sturdy for when I make it again because I'm gonna have to make another one for my friend who is starting she and her husband are starting a coffee roasting business so and here's fancy Charlie just thought she'd say hi she loves to sit on my lap if I don't have a kid, I have a dog sitting on my lap. So I'm taking uh, my nesting circle dies and I am picking a size that fits around that Starbucks um, logo. And I'm gonna die cut that out. Put that aside because I am gonna use it later. I just didn't want it covered, so I wanted it covered with whatever decor that I decided to put on the front, so I put it aside. Okay, now it's time to glue these in. At first, I'm going to round the corners, the top left and top right corners. It just, to me, it just kind of looks more like a cup when I rounded the, the corners up top. Okay, so now it's time to glue these chipboard pieces in. And I've always used a little too much glue because I like to spread it around and make sure that it comes, seeps out of the sides so that it's nice and glued. That kind of, to my, in my mind, <laughs> make sure that it's nice and glued. Here I'm just using a variety of paper clips to hold that down until it sticks well. So I actually just load it up with paper clips because I noticed that it kind of had little waves in it. So to kind of prevent permanent waves, I just loaded it up with paper clips. Then I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so here it is, all paper clipped up and just set it aside to get nice and tacky and <clears throat> somewhat dry while I work on the pages. So I'm just lining up a straight edge with the straight edge of the paper and tracing about three pages at once out of cardstock and then cutting them out. 
So I am, I did that. I cut, I cut out six total pages and I'm rounding the corner of all six pages, the same corners that I rounded on the, um, the front of the, the cover of this little album. And I'm just folding them all and giving a, a good burnish on the crease. So I will end up having two signatures of three pages each. Just making sure they all line up. And then I'm gonna set up the signatures to make sure that they all kind of line up well. And here I'm, this is my original template and I am measuring, I'm measuring where to find um, I usually do about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch from the top and the bottom. And then from those two points, I find the center. And then this is my template for where I'm going to use my awl and poke the holes for my binding. And I'm just going to use the long stitch binding method, which I'll go over that super briefly in a few minutes. Um, but for more details, there's tons of videos, and I think Wilna even has a tutorial on it, so. Um, okay, so my cover is mostly sticky. I'm just burnishing it down like this to spread the glue out. Make sure the glue is nice and spread on the underneath of those little panels. And then, let me see. Then it's time to decorate the pages. This was also inspired by Wilna. It's kind of, she used watercolors. Um, I feel a little more comfortable using water-soluble inks. <laughs> so I am just getting lots and lots of water and I am just kind of put, making a slight, like a rainbow effect, but not using as many colors. Here I'm using a blue, a coral, and a green. I just think they complement each other and I wanted to bring in some green because you know, the Starbucks logo is green and, um, oh yeah, and I did add some yellow in there too for brightness. But I also end up using some green embroidery thread to bind it so it all kind of flows together. So I'm just using water to put dots on here because the water will react with what the water, the painting that I did and I just kind of thought that would be a fun look. So those three pages, I did kind of, I smeared it all over. These ones, this is the method that I saw Wilna do where she kind of put a lot of color at the top and let it drip down. I thought that was really cool and that's um, very new to me. So I thought I'd give it a try and I actually really love how it turned out, especially as a background for pictures and things. So I'm just doing that, dipping it in the drips that are there. Now I'm smushing each of these pads, stamp pads, ink pads, and I'm um, dripping water on it. I'm not spraying a ton of water because I like the way it looks with some water droplets and some of the, the raw ink when I, when I dab it down like this. I think it, it's a real concentrated look where the, where the raw ink is. And that's, to me, I really like that look. So I like how it turned out anyway. And I'm just dipping all of those pages in there to give it a uniform look across the board. And then I'm setting those aside to dry. And once they're dry, I'm bringing them back. And I'm setting up the signatures. And I set the signatures up to make sure that I didn't have two similar pages together. And also I'm flipping around the pages to make sure that two, see here how I'm, I'm grouping them like that. I'm just making sure that I have, because I wanna make pockets and I didn't watercolor the inside of the pages where the pockets are gonna be. So I'm adding more ink because the first page of the, of the book, of the, of the signatures, <laughs> um, didn't have any color on it, so I wanted to, I wanted to add a little bit, which would um, be the back page of one of the already colored pages. So I'm just doing this half, because this half is gonna end up being the front, the very first page that you see when you open the book. 
dabbing off any muddy parts or any super saturated parts. Then I'm just taking my heat tool to dry those out really well so I can work with it quicker. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna set them aside and using my template, first I'm gonna measure the, the, the width of this, which is a quarter inch, but I'm gonna measure, since I have two signatures, what I do is I measure kind of the two spot. I basically I divide it into thirds, and the two center pieces it are where I'm gonna use my template to line up, and then with my awl punch the same holes that I did with my pages. And I usually punch the holes from the outside of the cover to the inside because it. Uh, the the whole where when you punch it wherever that the all goes in on the other side it's kind of protruding so okay here I'm doing more ink pad smashing on my um, Ranger craft sheet here and more water dripping but you notice how I'm not smearing it because I like the raw ink that's kind of the same method and I'm taking these scrap pieces of white cardstock and I'm dipping them in there to get some concentrated color. I'm not mixing the colors really. I, I'm just getting kind of the layering effect, I guess you can say, of the, of the colors. Okay, now I punched a hole with my crocodile to the top here so I can add some charms and I added an eyelet up top and then I am going to use this paper, uh, this, oh my gosh, my brain is blinking, this pattern paper, I couldn't think of pattern paper, to um, line the inside, and I decided to use the green side of it. And so I just traced, I traced the um, front and the back again, and I chose to use uh, I said that already. I chose to use the green side, but here I'm just trimming it where it's kind of ding hanging off a little bit. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but this book I'm making it for a friend of mine. She was I worked at Starbucks for 11 years, and a huge chunk of that time I worked with her. She was my manager. And um, she's still my friend, and so she just had a grandbaby. So uh, I thought she, even when I worked with her seven plus years ago, um, she wanted. She used to tell me how much she's ready for her kids to have babies, so she could have a grandbaby. But they weren't ready at the time. So finally, she's a grandma, and that's who I decided to make this book for. Which she still works at Starbucks, so it's awesome. <laughs> it's just so fitting even her license plate on the back of her car says Starbucks <laughs> so okay I'm just smearing out the glue making sure it's on the edges of the paper and then I use my this you notice I have this pretty grimy um, rag here but I use that to smear I press pretty decently pretty hard and I smear the glue to make sure that it's um, you know that it's spread out pretty well under that paper. Now here's where I end up using these scraps. I've kind of cut them down and I'm just laying them down in a way that I feel like I want it to be permanent. And then I get a scrap piece of paper that I end up gluing them onto. Here it is. I spread some glue around and then lay them down in the pattern that I had established. Well, pretty close to the pattern that I established. And my thought process here was that I just didn't want, you know, too much of one color to be in one spot. So I just kind of made sure that it was nice and distributed. And then I cut off the sides of that scrap paper. Oh no, first I 
make fishtails on both sides, and then I cut off this, the ends of the scrap paper. So I used a very light coral color and a Starbucks green color thread behind this, and I used glue to make sure that it was stick, stuck down to these, this pattern paper that I made. And then some pop dots on the back of the Starbucks logo. So here is where it comes back into the picture. <laughs> And then I just center that the best I can. And then it is eventually going to go on back on the cover. And I use some ink to kind of distress the edges. And here's where I begin the binding. So this is the long stitch binding. I take the, my needle and thread and I put it through the center of the pages and through the back, the last page holes, if that makes sense, and it through the middle. And then I bring it across to the top hole, back through the middle, and then through the bottom, from the outside, of course. Okay, I'm just kind of detangling my thread here. And then I, once it's nice and untangled, I go through the bottom, from the outside through the bottom of the, bind, of the cover and the pages, and then I tighten it up and then I take my needle and I go under that first length of thread there. You can see I go under it and then from there I just make sure it's nice and taut and I tie it in a couple little knots. Now I have before gone back through this middle to continue the pattern with next signatures um, but this just is easier when it's tight and so there I go. I finished it, sped through that. <laughs> and here's what it looks like. Now, this is where I glue the pages. So I'm just taking a thin string of glue and I'm gluing all the pages together. Well, the blank parts of the pages. Once that's done, I'm taking an oval punch and I am making a pull tab cutout thing. One day I'll get all the right terminologies. <laughs> And where it's appropriate, I'm lining up the punches too, just to kind of give it a uniform look. So that center page I needed to paper clip because that's where the two um, signatures came together. So just take note of that. I'm using Ranger Perfect Pearl Mist to spray the cover of the book, as well as the embellishment that I made for the front. <coughs> And I'm just making a mark for where I need to put my glue. So I load it up with glue. I want to make sure this puppy sticks. <clears throat> and my son has joined me at this point. <laughs> He's very curious. And there it is. So following are some pictures of what the final product looks like. I'm all decorated. I added some embellishments like the coffee pot there and all throughout the book from the Simon Says Stamp February 2017 collection. And there's Lola and her grandbaby. All these embellishments I made myself with punches and I, I just measured the pages and I made those Polaroid cutouts and it turned out so fun and she loved it so much. So down below will be links to my social media as well as um, anything else that I used. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, you guys will rock and we'll see you again soon. Bye.